Greetings from the land of the lost souls. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Crosshead. This time I'm starting directly from the world map. Save myself a little bit of time. Hopefully. While setting up and such. So I lose about 40 seconds when I do this kind of intro. And it's like... What's the point? You're waiting for data to load. Anyway. So we're just gonna head into the dungeon now. Uh, right, hold on. Anyway, we're gonna head right into the dungeon now. As another event happens. Judas, why can't we just talk to them and convince them to go along with us? The only way to guarantee our own safety is to completely eliminate the threat. I know that, but are they really such bad people? And besides, I feel like sooner or later it's only going to be me and you on our side. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, no matter what. Thank you. You'll stay by my side, right? I'm scared. I feel like someone's always watching me. And I've been having these awful dreams lately. Dreams? What are those? Huh? You mean you've never had a dream? It's something well, that happens while you sleep. While I sleep? I'm not sure I've done such a thing. So... Am I the only one who that sleeps? Uh, so yeah, apparently you are. <clears throat> so these dreams, what are they like? It's sort of like going to another world, but lately I've been dreaming of this big monster that comes and eats me. A monster that eats you? In my opinion, this is actually a good omen monster may represent a forest that exists solely to protect you. I'm not sure about that one. It devouring you could be interpreted as it surrounding you and protecting your holy body. And of course, the force is us, your humble vessels. Or vassals. Vessels would also work, I guess, somewhere in there. Uh, why do I continuously question myself? <sighs> yeah, I see. That must be it. Now, if you're feeling better, you try you should try and get some sleep. Alright. And you should see if you can get some sleep yourself for once. Sir Judas. What is it, Raisin? This old man has crossed blades with him. I can assume that you did not succeed in killing them? Or beyond my expectation. Put simply, I was amazed. So you couldn't eliminate the rodents, but you still have something else to tell me, don't you? Ugh, well. They said they're fighting to release souls in order to return to their own worlds. There's never been a group with such determination in our world before their arrival. They didn't understand that this world exists to purify the other worlds. Such is the will of the Imperial One. And he saw a soul drawn to this world must be inevitably become one with it. The soul must be purified, become reborn, and populate our world. At least, that's how I understand things. Or is there more that I don't understand? No, what you said is one truth of this world. One truth, huh? Well, I, perhaps you're right. This old man has taken many lives because of his belief in the Imperial One's words. 
but after I fought with them, it feels as if obscuring mist has fallen over my view of this world. I was led to believe that souls are sent here to this world because of their evil natures. But I felt no kind of evil energy from these new outsiders. Then again, this is just the experience of one old man. So you say, but if they were not evil, what other explanation is there for their presence here? Ian. And even then, if they are not pure evil, what difference would it make? Our only duty is to collect souls and uh, perpetuate our world, as commanded by the Imperial One. I understand. Please forgive my words. I should not spend so much time worrying about such things. And somebody else enters the scene. Intriguing words. You. So this world is nothing but a cage used to confine evil souls. The souls are prisoners, but they're also a source of fuel extracted from other worlds. In any case, in that case, I mean, everyone confined to this world is a source of energy, myself included. Is my interpretation correct? Your theories are not my concern. If you want to understand this world, speak with the Imperial One yourself. Trust me, I will. When the time is right. Anyway, if I'm correct, the Twelve Knights were chosen by the Imperial One because of their remarkable strength. But I wonder, what's the difference between them and us? Why did the Imperial One choose me, and not one of them? My outlook? My ability? My less than pure nature? Whatever the reason, I find this whole situation most interesting. Though, if we come from the same worlds, some defend this world to the death, while others try to destroy it. Even though this world was, cr was created as nothing more than a holding cell for evil souls. How did such a paradox arise? What exactly are you trying to say? I'm not a member of the audience here. But rather one of the actors. That's what I'm talking about. Why not join the party pl the play yourself? Party would have worked in that sense. Watching can be fun, but participating is far more exciting. What are you up to, Jaya? Why not just tell me what you're thinking? And based on that... You'll decide whether or not to let me live. Now, would that be a threat? I'm not averse and experience death in this world. But, that is, even if you're capable of delivering such a magnificent gift. Well then, let's talk. But bear in mind, whatever I say is completely hypothetical, understand? Of course. Just tell me. Time passes. Meanwhile, we return to our heroes who are just entering the dungeon now. All right, let's go. Actually, where is that thing? Ah, there it is. Might as well. I mean, I don't want to be overly attacked in here because of the HP thing. Crescent Moonstone. I don't know if I can make anything with that right now. Hard Shell. Kinda like the music here though. timing those. It screw me up later. Hmm, 
Do I go down or just across? It's probably gonna force me to go down anyway. Yep. Max HP up. Like I said, keeps giving me those for no reason. My serum powder is worn off. Switching screens though, kind of negates the current encounter rate. Gem of Fortune, whatever. Some of these items are interesting. Some materials I don't think I'll ever need. Also, I would throw another serum powder up, but I choose not to right now. Though I may want to if I want to check out another ring. it up. There we go. I knew it was going to happen sometime. Be careful, everyone! Well, that's a giant golem. Extremely painful one. I guess. actually pretty strong. And this is pointless, but it does add to our total, so... I don't know if that was a new record for this file, but... an eye on that. Could have gone behind the bookshelf. Could have been a nice treasure chest back there. But I chose to ignore it. And I'm at the end of the dungeon. Hooray! It's right out here. So I've been wondering. What actually happens to souls after that gets sucked into this world. Any idea? Huh? No, I have no clue. Well, what are the souls used for? 
I think they're like a kind of fuel used to power this world. You know, people get energy by eating food. Does that mean this world's gonna eat us? No, that would be horrible. Well, it can't happen if we get back to our own worlds. We just have to release all the souls here and return home before we get eaten. Yeah, pretty much. But it's still a mystery. I can see why Miss Lily would be brought here, but what about me? I'm just a mana, not a human. So I'm probably not tasty to eat at all. It's not like we're gonna literally be eaten or anything. And I should turn that off. Uh, maybe later though. But anyway, we haven't met anyone new in a while. The souls act as a fuel to run this world. We're releasing those souls that are meant to maintain this world, one after another. Whoever created this world must need a constant supply of souls to keep things running. So we're basically tearing down the influence of this world that this world has? On that topic, why do people from our worlds keep trying to stop us from releasing souls? They probably lost all their memories. They're just being used by this world's creator, most likely. But it seems like some of them have regained some memories, just like us. They want to do that same thing as this world's creator. Whether or not they have their memories doesn't really matter. People will always act on their own self-interest. I don't necessarily agree entirely, but... What he's saying makes sense. But I think it's more like, what's happening is because it's happening as it's supposed to. Those people could never be on the same side as us, right? Maybe. There's a million questions about this world, but... In the end, they be, might be like, Stop! If you ever want to see your memories again! Or, you know, something like that. That's stupid. Who cares about that? About their memories? Well, a lot of people, for one. Me, for one. Let's talk about this later. Now is the time to act. Yeah, I guess it would be. You're right. So then, let's just keep hunting down those souls. Some things confuse me. Let's just continue moving on. Great. Running around blind. I don't know what I'm doing. There's gotta be a town around here at least. Please? I can help too. Uh let's escape for now. Again, must remember to turn that off. Some reason I fixed it and now it's being annoying. It was really annoying when the Vita did it too. What would you like to do? Any more titles while we're here? Strongest thing we can make. Which is nothing.
Hello. That'd be too much. What do you add? Man, if this weapon had a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna save that for a better weapon. Uh, better weapon. Better weapon. Maybe armor for this one. Where did I get some of these? It's just weird. Alright, let's go back to searching. At least for a little bit longer. Actually, let's go back to the see if there's anything directly nearby. Twenty? Um, I'd rather just take my chances and waste time searching around myself. Of course, that's just gonna end this episode in the meanwhile. I'm going to have to do some soul searching. That and look up a map, maybe. In the meanwhile, I'll disable those messages as well. In the meanwhile, I keep saying that. Tune in again for more. Wow, Liner's HP is really high for some strange reason.